Vor langer Zeit lebten die Menschen glücklich und zufrieden. Niemand bemerkte den Schatten, der sich langsam über ihnen ausbreitete. Die Dunkelheit trübte ihre Sinne und das Böse fraß sich tief in ihre Seelen. Vom Wahnsinn getrieben schmiedeten sie einen Pakt mit dem Teufel. Zu später Stunde kamen sie zusammen, um gemeinsam die Mächte der Finsternis mit ihrem sündigen Blut zu rufen. Sie zu erlösen von ihrer sterblichen Existenz, den Anbeginn einer neuen Welt vor Augen. Und so begab es sich, dass nach 100 Jahren das Böse wieder Fleisch geworden war. Als unsterbliches Geschöpf der Nacht kam es die Gestalt des Wolfs, der Fledermaus oder des Nebels annehmen. Es labt sich am Blut der Menschen. Dracula, der Fürst der Finsternis, Herr des Teufelsschlosses, ist auferstanden. Greetings, all you game masters, all your master, the Frank Master here. Welcome to a brand new Let's Play. As I promised at the end of Bloodlines, we continue on our Castlevania adventures with Rondo of Blood. My test we dropped up there. And yeah, I this another game I don't really have that much experience with. Oh, all things considered. Mainly because I didn't really have many means to play it. <laughs> In fact, I don't have many means to play it. I'm playing this off an emulator on, on the computer, but... It's... And no, it's the best we can do. It's the best we can get. And you know what? At the end of the day, that's all that really matters. So let's not do it out any further. Let's just go ahead and jump right in. And let's get this party started. Alright, as you can tell from this fellow F and, F, F and V, that this is actually taking place on a different console. The Turbo GX uh, computer console was released in the early 90s. And it did abysmally in the US, which is why we never really got this game. And uh, it, in, in this game, we take, we take control of the new Belmont of the month, Richter Belmont. And hey, hello, hello Death. How's it going, Death? Nice try, bitch. That's right, take your two hits and die. Sure, okay. Now, cause now usually this is game is almost only in Japanese, but since I am since I am playing off a uh, playing off emulator, I do get the English translation, which is yeah, it's kind of rough to say the least. No, well, basically, we'll see about that death. We'll see about that. Probably won't because I learned my right test playthrough. I suck in this game. But one thing that you immediately know from the get-go that this music and graphics are at top tier. As the game itself, because a lot of people consider this to be the best classic Vania game. Uh, I still I, I hold Bloodlines in high regards, so that's gonna be interesting to see how see how that holds. But in terms of control, uh, we're back to Castlevania one and three territory, where you get you don't get your you get your kind of control jump, not really. 
And you can only whip in one direction. No whip dangly, no multiple direction. It's just full on. Yeah. Oh, what this, what this, what this tells me. Town of Agilua. Yeah, okay. But yeah, this is what this level takes us takes us through familiar territory as we go through the first one of the, one of the towns of Castlevania 2. However, because it's been eons since I played that last play that game, as in two years ago, because I'm not touching that game again. <laughs> uh, I am no, I am no, I don't remember, I don't remember a single thing. Oh no, out, fuck you. But nope, my not back gives us a little thing here as well. Yeah. There you go. That's right, your Don Con Barrel bullshit. Come here, you. Oh. But yeah, you know, once again, also you get the hard controls, and yeah, this is definitely a classic mania from th through and through. But you know what? Level design didn't seem that horrible for me to deal with, at least not with its predecessor, Dracula X. By the way, I just learned last week that Dracula X and Round of Blood are two different, two completely different games. I may or may not play Dracula X, depending how long this playthrough takes. Though I don't, I'm not really looking forward to it because I can already tell you I don't like Dracula X. <laughs> but hey, you know what? Maybe we might have to touch our game. We'll see. Because it really is just much the same plot. Yep. Just not nearly as fun. <laughs> All right, here we go. These rock monsters don't stand a chance. Oh, so this theme is just so good. It is, this, the soundtrack as a whole is just so good. As there is for Sarevanias. But yeah, you, also, you can see, see your top left there. Yeah, they do, I do get some ovens again. And they have a different use this time around. That's all shown in this boss fight here. Hello, Ram Dragon thing. If I press the select button, you can do this awesome item crash. And for the pur and for the purposes purposes of this boss fight, I'm probably not gonna use a whole lot of because I want to keep the axe going. E ouch! Damn it! No! Off! 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 off. Damn it! Oh, I might die here. Oh, I'm definitely gonna die. Woo! Ah, damn it! Yeah, I knew it was gonna die. My bad, and then I died. And since I don't don't have a switch thing, here, ain't no rewind time in this bitch. That's fine. I was kind of low health anyway, so I kind I kind of want to redo his boss fight. But his dragon thing is it. Once you get into a pattern, isn't terribly hard. All right, he's gonna do the fire attack. No, he's gonna do that attack first. All right, he's gonna do the fire attack. Preferably just stay behind him when he does the fire attack, because that that's exactly you're gonna. Uh, uh, b b best to avoid them. Yep. All right. Easy. Damn it! Axe him. My if I. Oh God! I didn't. I didn't. I did, I did not count for that attack. There we go. Though he's dead anyway. I forgot about that attack. <laughs> he goes like kill him before he does it. But hey, you know what? You got the better of me. What can I say? Also, if I can, also another thing too I should probably mention is that if you do, if you do, if you press the jump button twice, you can do this awesome black backflip. I was hoping to get the. Okay, well I didn't didn't quite uh didn't quite get it. <laughs> yep, that's stage one taken care of. How about our measures don't end there? On to stage two. God grant me strength, cause God I need it. And also, hey, it's vampire killer. Hey, another thing too is that this game likes to take remixes of old themes. Mostly Vampire and Blade Tears, Vampire Killer and Blade Tears, and maybe you might hear Beginnings. Which hey, are some of Castlevania's uh, more notable tracks. Get down here, you. There we go. It's just, I don't want to become a problem. But yeah, speak of. But yeah, speaking of familiar territory, you know this is the same. This is the same climb uh, that. I'm sorry to say, the same place that Simon Belmont went through in Castlevania One, which yes is pretty much the first. This is the first level of Castlevania One. If the Vampire Killer, Killer theme didn't tell you that, zombies and all that are here, are out, out and about. 
if, is this time I tell you that there is a certain way you gotta get 100% in this game? Which get which it, it starts immediately at this level. At least at least how I'm gonna do it, how I'll be doing it. This is kind of did my test playthrough, and I I don't don't kind of, I kind of don't, don't want to like go stem away from that path. So we're just gonna go there. So the first thing we need to immediately do is. Well, obviously, get past the zombies and flowing eyeballs. Oh, damn it. Right, get back down here, you. Oh, holy water. Awesome. Which is, which is about as good as it always has been, so that's good. But since now we're relying on CD quality music, it means that you're, it's, it's going to repeat like that. <laughs> Ah, but if remember earlier from the level, there was a heat. There was these ram red eyes glowing at us. I wonder what that could be. Oh, that that's that's threatening. All right, but, but yeah, there's even chase. First, we need to do is get this key, and not die from the zombies. But we, we need to keep on we need to keep on the move, otherwise that thing's gonna come kill us. Damn it, freaking zombie! Ouch. All right. Alright, and we gotta immediately jump up here and he'll stop following us through that. Uh, but we... Fret not though, if you took too much damage in that climb like I did. Damn it. Wall meets! Good old, good old classic wall meets. Alright, make sure you have the key in hand though, because that's gonna be important to get, to get 100% here. Because the thing is, the plot here is that this ram dude named Shaft, a wizard, plans to resurrect Dracula. He does, he does, like, plans to do it with the power of the four maidens. In order to beat the game, we need to get all four maidens. There we go. Jeez. Thank you. Jeez. Get away from her. And our first of the four maidens is right here. Maria. Belmont. Vampire Hunter. And you are? Take care of that bad man, okay? Oh, you don't know anything. I can handle this just fine. <laughs> Somewhere in this instance, Shadow is screaming out in agony. <laughs> but it, but, but yeah, we have here Maria, Maria Renard, who actually will is playable in this game. However, we're not, however, I won't be able to showcase her just yet, so... Oh, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna die. Yep, I knew it. And that... Am I not die? Died. I took too much damage. Thankfully, once you, once you, once you save one of the maidens, you don't have to resave them again. Alright, I'm just gonna head down here. I'm just gonna ignore you. Screw you. Hey, stupid fish people. But yeah, like I said, Maria is playable. I will showcase her later. And not for nothing, she probably is better than Richter in almost every way. <laughs> almost every way. I think Richter hits, Richter hits harder, but... I'm just, actually, I'm just going to completely ignore you. I don't know why I died there. I was like this close to the freaking boss door. But that was all too. Now, nothing, nothing too, nothing too terribly hard, as you can clearly notice. And then we got a boss fight coming up here, which is not the bat, surprisingly. That's just money in that candle, in case you're wondering. But 
But we've seen a distance. There is this random man turning into a werewolf. And also, I'm pretty sure how uh, Dark Souls got Ta John Talbian's uh, design from. But now it's used a Hydro Storm. Alright. Damn it. Ouch. Fuck you. Alright. Alright, but he's getting close to di dying here. Ouch. Come here, you. Just freaking scream your lungs out. Ouch. Fuck you. There we go. There we go. Ow, fuck. I... I go for you. Ow, oh crap, I'm, oh crap, I'm, I'm close to down here. Shit, shit, shit. There we go. Whoo, that was close. That was close. Heesh. Close, but no cigar. That's right, you dissipate, you freaking werewolf dude. But honestly, he's probably one of the harder boss fights, because just for how fast he moves, but... He managed to get past it, and that's all that matters. And we are going to end it there. Eventually, with the screen cuts. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, okay. So yeah, like I said, we're going to end it there. So thank you all for watching. If you're Master of the Frank Master, you can see Master's game out uh, next part. So I'll see you guys then.